I am very excited to be able to invite you now on a tour of my new manga library. So please come along with me. So like I said, I'm very excited about this, but I'm also very nervous because this is something that I have spent the past several months trying to put together and perfect in a way that I was comfortable with with filming and putting out there. And I, I think I'm finally at that point now. I'm finally at the, at the point where I'm, I'm happy with everything and I'm ready to show everyone. Um, if you're new here, hello, I'm Riley. Welcome to my, my video. Welcome to my channel. Um, I hope that you enjoy this tour and I hope that you'll stay a while, that you'll subscribe and come back for all the other videos that I put out. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back to see me. Um, I appreciate you every single time you're here um, and I hope that you enjoy this and that it lives up to any kind of expectations that you might have had um, for, this, for this tour and for this video. Um, as always, uh, before getting started, I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions. Um, if you're new here, these are questions that you might wind up asking like during the course of the video. You might ask yourself during the course of the tour. Um, and with that, I'd like to say just watch this section of the video because I'm sure that I'll answer something if, if it comes to your mind while we're going through. Um, if you're not new here, you can skip this stuff for the most part. I'm not saying anything you haven't heard. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and answer the first frequently asked question. One of the most prominent ones I get is basically, how long have you been collecting? Um, I've been collecting for about 20 years. My, my anniversary for 20 years would be next August. Um, I was, I had a few manga and I, I was reading manga before then, but that's when I officially would say that I started collecting because that's when I like actively was picking stuff up and adding it into a small collection. Um, that I had. So it, it's been a while since I was a child, basically. Um, I've been doing this stuff, and with that, that's, you know, why I have such a large collection. Now, it's it's not something that happened in a short amount of time, it's something that has grown with me as I have grown. Um, and also, I'll note that, you know, while I've been collecting for 20 years, um, I have bought a lot more in the past several years, you know, every year of my life as I get older and I'm, you know, uh, moving through into adulthood, I have more money to spend, obviously, I'm gonna buy more at a time, so like, early years I wasn't buying as much as I am now, so uh, that's something that I think is, is definitely notable, but also the fact that like, not only am I getting older and like having, you know, more of a steady income, but um, as well, it's notable to say that publishers are publishing a lot more now than they were 20 years ago, and so there's just more out there that I want to pick up now than ever before, and so that's why I wind up buying a lot more now than I did when I was a kid, because there's just a lot more out there from a lot more publishers. Um, the next question that often will come up is, how much have you actually read? Which is a fair question. Currently, I'm sitting at about 80%. Um, I like to be around 90%. I was at about 90 uh, during my previous tour video, but um, I've bought a lot since then. I, my library has grown quite a bit since then, um, and so I've slipped because I haven't been able to keep up with reading as much as I've been buying. And, um, and that happens here to there, but I'm, I'm working on uh, kind of fixing that, improving that, and hopefully in the next um, you know, a few months, I'll be able to move back towards that 90% goal. I like to have uh, like 10% of my stuff not read because it's always good to have options so that when, you know, I, I go into my library to choose something to read, I can have an option between, you know, if I want to read an action series or a drama or a romance or a comedy or something, there's anything available to me really. So um, the next question that I get, and this one's kind of a general thing, is people ask, uh, where is this or why don't you own this? The first thing I say to that is rather than than posing the question in that way, um, I, I rather people say that they recommend something to me because recommendations for me go a really long way. Like I, I can't own everything obviously and in some cases you know I don't have something because I tried it and didn't like it, but in a lot of cases 
whether it's something that I've heard of before or not, the reason I don't have it is because I've never been uh, tempted enough to pick it up. And the best way for me to be tempted to pick something up is for people to recommend it to me and tell me like, hey, well, if you like this series, you'll probably like this one. And honestly, a lot of the stuff that I've bought in the past several months since I did my previous uh, tour video was based on viewer recommendations. So if you're watching this part and you recognize that I picked something up that um, you might have rec recommended in my previous video or somewhere else on my channel or one of my social media platforms, it's because of you. Whether you are the only person or one of a dozen or one of a hundred people that recommended a title to me, you are responsible at least partially for the reason why I picked that thing up. Because I take recommendations seriously. I said that on my last video and I'm following through with that. I take recommendations seriously because to me it means that you paid attention to what I enjoy and you made this recommendation to me based on that. Um, and that means something to me. Um, another thing to follow up on, uh, I mentioned my last video, I didn't have a ton of shoujo in my collection, aside from some basics like Sailor Moon, um, I have Banana Fish and stuff like that, and I said that I was going to be working on expanding my selection uh, in my library of shoujo material, and I have done that. I, I followed through with that. I have, uh, in the past several months since that video, made a ton of friends in the shoujo community. They are some of the greatest people that I know and they have given me so many recommendations for things that like I've read a lot of and have enjoyed and I've not read a lot of and that's part of the big like 10% extra that I haven't read since the last time uh, we did one of these tours but I'm very excited because a lot of really great stuff that I'm happy to have added into my collection. Um, I think that's all the like frequently asked questions and kind of following up on my last video that I have to do. Uh, the only thing I'm going to note real quick is the way that I organize my library because oftentimes people will assume that I don't have something because it's just not with other things the way that they would expect it to be organized. I organize based on publisher, so I separate things by publisher and then I also separate my ongoing stuff from my concluded stuff. So. Um, for instance, we're going to start with my Dark Horse shelf. You'll see like Berserk and uh, and stuff like that over there because those are ongoing. But the concluded Dark Horse stuff like Helsing and Trigun, those are collected elsewhere. And we'll get to those eventually. So um, watch the whole video before you decide that I don't have something basically. Like I, I had a lot of people in the comments who would, would be like, hey, why don't you have this? Uh, and then I'd be like, I, I do, it's in this part of the video. Anyway, so now let's go ahead and start. Like I said, we're going to start off by taking a look at my Dark Horse section, and we're going to go all the way around the library. We have a lot to cover, so uh, buckle in. All right, y'all. So we're starting, like I said, with my ongoing Dark Horse section. Say hello to my gimbal again, uh, back to help me out, keeping things balanced. Um, so at the top, you can see we've got Berserk, the hardcovers uh, of the series. And then next to that, uh, we've got the paperbacks for his other works, uh, Gigantomaxia, Japan, and King of the Wolves. Um, the latter two I received just recently from a viewer uh, as a little surprise. Uh, they said like a late birthday gift, and I am greatly thankful for that because uh, I never thought that I would own those unless some, you know, they by chance got reprinted. So here we are. Uh, I've made a little bit of a kind of Miura section up there, I guess. Uh, right below that, I've just got the Blade of the Immortal uh, hardcovers, so one through seven that are out right now. And uh, I'll get the rest of those as they come out. And moving down a little bit more, uh, we've got I've got plenty of space you can see to grow into these shelves. Um, Cat plus Gamer and Drifters as well as Gantz. And uh, oh, one thing I'm going to point out is, uh, yeah, the shelves are not the same color as the bookcase. Ikea ran out of shelves, and so I just bought what I could. Uh, as far as black shelves, they ran out. Um, so yeah, Gantz is back in my collection. I had it, I sold it, and I got it again. Um, I mentioned this on Twitter, but I repurchased the entire series in the Omnibus Editions because um, while I am convinced that hardcovers will be happening, um, just in case they don't, I wanted to make sure I had it in my collection. And if it does wind up getting the hardcover treatment, like I believe, then I'll go ahead and give these away to someone out there. Absolutely free. Uh, moving down, we've got 
keep your hands off of Azekin and the uh, paperback Omnis for Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service. Now that Volume 5 has finally come out and they've announced that 6 will also be happening, I did finally add the series into my collection. Um, very happy to see that that's happening, that Dark Horse is also making a lot of efforts with reprints. And speaking of reprints, they did reprint all of, well, not all yet, the first 10 of the Lone Wolf and Cub Omnibus Editions. Now, um, I've mentioned in the past, I was not a huge fan. I read like the first three of these, I think. I wasn't a huge fan, but I also have said that I would give it another chance. And if I don't wind up enjoying it, um, I'll go ahead and sell them. But I decided to pick it up because I didn't know when the next time that they would reprint these would be. And as mentioned, they still haven't reprinted the last two anyway. So um, we'll see. And I do think that this is going to get a hardcover treatment as well. And uh, similar to Gantz, if it does get the hardcover treatment, I will give all of these away um, if I wind up enjoying it enough to want to get the hardcovers, that is. Uh, over here, Mob Psycho 100 and the Reagan uh, spin-off volume. Miss Koizumi loves ramen noodles, and that's the end of the ongoing Dark Horse section. Uh, next, down below, we get a few like art books and stuff. Um, and there's some more stuff over here. This is actually a small Shintaro Kago section, uh, a lot of which I can't really show because the uh, covers are are not appropriate for YouTube, unfortunately. Uh, then down here we get into Denpa. And Denpa, I have mixed the ongoing with the concluded stuff because the concluded stuff is all like single volume things. Um, see, Invitation for uh, from a Crab, Maiden Railways, The Men Who Created Gundam, uh, Pez, and Superdimensional Love Gun, which is another Shintaro Kago uh, piece. Uh, those are all the concluded ones. And right above that, I also have the uh, Denpa art books, the uh, Black Tights and Future Log, because uh, I was trying to get a whole full Denpa collection going on. Um, and almost all of it's here, but there is uh, one piece of it that's, uh, or a couple pieces of it that are elsewhere in my creator section where I keep uh, stuff organized by some of my favorite creators. Uh, and we've got Baby Barrow's, uh, sorry, excuse me, Baby Bear's Bakery, The Girl with the Senpaku Eyes, uh, Heavenly Delusion. Kaiji, which I absolutely love, uh, Pleasure and Corruption, today's menu for the EMEA family and vampires, and then next to all of that is Nana and Karu Volume 1. Um, this one is by Faku, but um, Faku is the parent company of Denpa, and Denpa has been kind of advertising it as their own, so I went ahead and picked that one up. If you know the subject matter of the series, you know why it would be under Faku, if, if you know what Faku does. Um, Adam the Beginning Volume 1 is the only thing I have from uh, Titan right now, but I'll be getting a couple of other things soon. Um, the Rose of the Versailles Complete Hardcovers by Udon. Um, and then I've got another complete series down here from Udon is Travaganza. Ongoing from Udon is Otherworldly Izakaya Nobu. From Ablaze, we got The Breaker. And then we get into my Square Enix stuff. So there's Soul Eater, Cherry Magic. Uh, high score girl. I think our son is gay. And uh, I've got some more down here from Square Enix. I did a big like Square Enix order and just anything that was being recommended to me as being pretty good, um, I picked up. So we've got A Man and His Cat, My Dress Up Darling, um, Ragna Crimson, and Sino Alice Volume 1, so recent series, Apothecary Diaries and uh, My Happy Marriage. And then we get into One Piece books with um, Hina Matsuri, Usoki, uh, Usotoki Rhetoric, which is a fantastic first volume, and The Music of Marie by Usamaru Furuya. I might make a Furuya section in my creator shelf. Um, that was a pretty good uh, book, by the way, if you haven't read that one. All right, so first up, we up here. This is uh, my Kadansha, Yen Press, and Seven Seas ongoing shelf. Uh, the first item, though, is uh, not in the correct place right now. I just haven't put it where it belongs, and that's Therme Rome Omnibus. I'll put that away eventually in the correct place. Uh, and I've got the first out of two box sets of Magic Knight Ray Earth. I still need to get the second one, and then it can move into my completed area as well. Uh, and then I've got the hardcovers of Saint Young Men and Vinland Saga. And then we get into the kind of oversized paperbacks from Kadansha. Uh, Blue Lock, which has been fantastic. Uh, Blue Period. And let's move down to the next shelf where we've got 
uh, D. Wurgelder from the same creator as Blade of the Immortal, right over there. Uh, a Galaxy Next Door, Grand Blue Dreaming, Land of the Lustrous, the first of the Noragami Omnis, PTSD Radio, uh, Sayonara Football, the Omnibus Editions of Seven Deadly Sins, Shangri-La Frontier, I'm giving you a teaser of the next shelf a little too quickly here. Uh, the second volume of Shangri-La Frontier, To Your Eternity, Wand Dance, which has uh, recently started, has been pretty fun. Um, Wave, Listen to Me, obviously I'm still trying to get used to the controls of this uh, gimbal here. Uh, welcome to the Ballroom. Oh, Wave Listen to Me is also by the same creator as uh, Blade of the Immortal, by the way. Welcome to the Ballroom, Witch Hat Atelier, and then some standard size stuff from Kadansha, uh, Battle Angel Alita Mars Chronicle. I finally added Eden's Zero into the collection, as you can see. Uh, moving down, I also finally added uh, Heroic Legend of Arslan, the adaptation from Hiromo Arakawa, but I'm missing volume 11 still. Uh, Lovesick Ellie Orient. The Seven Deadly Sins sequel for Knights of the Apocalypse. The Shaman King Omnibus Editions from Kadansha. Just got a couple more to go until that's done. Uh, Blackguard from the creator of uh, Devil's Line, which has been pretty enjoyable. There's the rest of Blackguard over here. Uh, Last Gender. Uh, Miss Miazen would love to get uh, closer to you. Welcome back, Alice, and Blood on the Tracks, both from Shuzo Oshimi. And we've got uh, Flying Witch and To the Abandoned Sacred Beasts uh, both wrap up the vertical slash uh, Kadansha section. Uh, this stack of books right here are some new releases sent to me by Yen, uh, Yen Press that I haven't organized into my library yet because I'm going to be using them for my November uh, new releases video. All right, now we get down to the Yen Press section. We've got uh, some Chisose uh, inside the Ram, uh, Ramune bottle, uh, the Executioner and Her Way of Life, Gahi-chan, uh, the 100 million year button, um, Miyako-chan, Mons Taboo, No Longer Heroine. That was a really fun first volume, by the way. Uh, Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts. I believe that's getting an anime adaptation pretty soon. Uh, Sasaki and Peeps, Tsubaki Cho, Lonely Planet, Unnamed Memory. And uh, yeah, I'm missing the first two volumes of Yatsuba. Uh, they are actually in transit right now, so I will have them pretty soon. Um, Delicious in Dungeon, which is fantastic. And the little uh, Adventurer's Bible that goes with it. Uh, the Geek X Hitman, it's been fun so far. Kakegurui, and down here, uh, Kakegurui Twin. Kowloon Generic Romance, absolutely phenomenal first volume there. Can't wait to read more. Lost Lad London, Run on Your New Legs has been really great as well. She Loves to Cook, She Loves to Eat, Solo Leveling, uh, Tales of the Kingdom, a beautiful volume. Uh, highly recommended if you like fantasy. Uh, Yawamushi Petal, finally happy to have that entire series in my collection now up to date. Um, and then a couple of uh, Eyes Press stuff, Villains Are Destined Die and The World After the Fall. Uh, then we get into my ongoing stuff from uh, Seven Seas. First up, The Girl from the Other Side hardcovers. The first two out of four are out now. Uh, Black and White, Tough Love at the Office. Dinosaur Sanctuary, Game Between the Sheets, Killing Stalking, Ladies on Top, Maiden Abyss, uh, Nightfall Travelers, SHWD, Spriggan, Tokyo Revengers, uh, Yokohama, Kaidisha, uh, Yokohama Kaidashi Kiko, 100 Girlfriends Who Really, 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 Really Love You, Box of Light, Candy and Cigarettes, Colorless, uh, Correspondence uh, from the End of the Universe, Cosplay, uh, Crossplay Love, Can't Talk Sometimes, Die Dark, Darling in the Franks, Dungeon People, Fire in His Fingertips, go down to the bottom here. Um, Gigant, I'm Not Meat, which was fantastic first volume, by the way. Imaginary, not sure if I'm going to continue that one. That one, that first volume was not as fantastic. Uh, Kageki Shoujo, uh, Kimono Jihen, Kiruru Kill Me, Night of the Living Cat, uh, Ramen Wolf and Curry Tiger, the uh, Saint Seiya spinoff, Saint Seiya Show, which is going to be wrapping up pretty soon. Samelperus, uh, Wicked uh, Trapper, World's End Solte, uh, Young Ladies Don't Play Fighting Games, 
Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs, which will also be wrapping up soon. And then one book from uh, an ongoing series from Starfruit, which is Young, Alive, and In Love. All right, this next section is mostly Viz Media Shoujo stuff, but up there I do have a couple of other things, Othello, Canon, uh, Defight Island, which is absolutely just ridiculous. <laughs> Um, no pun intended, and Boys of the Dead, which is a fun zombie anthology BL thing. Um, I've got a volume of The Adventures of Hamtaro behind my Hamtaro Nendoroid, uh, Chicago by uh, Yumi Tamura. The first five out of the six uh, omnibus of Fushigi Yugi. Uh, the Revolutionary Girl Utena box set. Uh, as many volumes of Clamps X as I could get easily. Um, a few volumes of Kamisama Kiss that uh, are in print currently because the series is slowly being reprinted. Um, and then I got, I was very fortunate enough to be able to get all of Kaze Hikaru. Um, so there's the first 15 volumes and then 16 through 30. I'm very, very fortunate to have been able to get all that because it's, it's pretty hard to get some of those volumes. Um, Kimi ni Toroke, as many volumes as I could get easily, but just waiting for reprints and stuff at this point. Um, most of Library Wars, the first several volumes, unfortunately, are not easy to get, so waiting on that. Um, My Love Mix-Up, which I believe ends pretty soon. Um, My Love Story, which is fantastic. I watched the anime, uh, I watched the first several episodes of the anime a while ago, enjoyed it, watched the rest of it recently, loved it. Uh, but I still need to get the last two volumes of that one. Uh, Nana, I'm picking up volumes of that series as they're getting reprinted, as are many people, so uh, still a good amount of it not here. Natsume's Book of Friends, another one where unfortunately a lot of it is not currently available, so I'm just waiting on reprints. Um, Orisama Teacher, I have all but volume 3, but I do have volume 3 on order, so I should be getting it sometime in the nearish future. Boltomen, this was an, a recent edition, and I'm missing two volumes, volume 4 and 8, but I have both of those on order as well, so I'll get to fill that out pretty soon. Um, Prince Freya, QQ Sweeper, and Queen's Quality. This is uh, one of my my friend Colleen's favorite uh, series, so I'm very happy to. Uh, I think I've I've finally got a volume one of QQ Sweeper organized on the way to me sometime in the nearest future. So I'll be able to finally read this one from start to finish. My friend Steph's favorite series, Skip Beat, and I've. Uh, collected almost every volume of this one through a mixture of the three-in-one Omnis plus the single volumes. So I don't usually like to do that, but in this case I wanted to make sure that I, I got the series and um, a lot of my friends are currently reading this for the first time and so I'm going to be getting into it pretty soon. I I've read the first like volume and really enjoyed it, so excited to be able to get into what uh, a lot of people refer to jokingly as the one piece of shoujo manga. Uh, Snow White with the Red Hair. I'm just missing volume 5 of that set. Yona of the Dawn, I'm still missing volumes 7 and 15, so almost done with that one. Requiem of the Rose King. Beautifully illustrated by the same creator as um, Ultimate that I had earlier shown. And then Alice the 19th by Yu Watase, the same uh, creator as um, Fushigi Yugi. Banana Fish, which I've had for a while, uh, Masara, which I've got as much as I could get um, easily without, you know, breaking the bank on the like third of the volumes that are impossible to get. Uh, Ceres, Celestial Legend, I'm just missing volume four. Please Save My Earth, I'm just missing a couple volumes. And then not Shoujo, um, but I didn't have anywhere else to really put it in the meantime. Uh, Moyoko Ano's Flowers and Bees. Next section starts getting into more of my bread and butter, and this is the Shonen stuff, uh, starting with Shonen Sunday from Biz. Uh, we've got a Rod of the Legend, Call of the Night, Case Closed. Um, and I do, by the way, this is a recent uh, development, but I do have every volume in the Shonen Sunday line now. So there's the rest of Case Closed. I'm trying to get it all into frame so it's easy to, to show y'all. Uh, Fly Me to the Moon, Free Ren, Hayate the Combat Butler, Komi Can't Communicate, Mao, Sleepy Princess, In the Demon Castle. More Sleepy Princess, Yasuhime. Um, I've got in the corner, you can see there, the Animal Crossing manga and Kirby manga bleeds over here. 
uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Persona 5 and then we get into the Viz signature line and I do have thanks to give to uh, some people who helped me to get some of those last Shonen Sunday books that I needed to complete that line by the way uh, you know who you are uh, can't think of everyone's name off the top of my head sorry all right, so ongoing Viz Signature, we've got Alice in Borderland, Asadora from uh, Naoki Rosawa, Beastars, and Beast Complex. That one's almost done. We've just got a couple volumes left of uh, Beastars to come out. Uh, there's the rest of Beastars, Black Lagoon, Children of the Whales, Crazy Food Truck, uh, the Fist of the North Star hardcovers, uh, Golden Kamui, one of my favorite series of all time. Such a fantastic title. If you haven't tried Golden Kamui, honestly, it's got a little bit of everything in there, and I highly recommend it. Um, the rest of Golden Kamui, uh, I think that one has like 31 or 32 volumes total in Japan, so it's wrapping up pretty soon, too. Mobile Suit Gundam, Thunderbolt, um, Orochi, Record of Ragnarok, Rooster Fighter, great, hilarious first volume, by the way, uh, Terraformers, and then we got the rest of Terraformers over here, Ultraman, Way of the House Husband, Psalm 100, and then the Viz Originals, uh, Devil's Candy, Fangirl, and uh, World Peace. And by the way, with the uh, Viz Signature section, I haven't mentioned this on my channel at all. I've mentioned it a couple times, I think, on Twitter, but I am working on a full collection of the Signature uh, line from Viz, and I'm only lacking 29 volumes, two of which are uh, Cat Eye Boy, which is getting reprinted soon anyway. That brings us to my favorite section of the library, of course, which is this entire corner, which is my complete Shonen Jump section. Um, I did make a video uh, last year, early this year, uh, I think it was last year, uh, talking about the collection and how much it meant to me and why I decided to collect all of the Shonen Jump line, and I detailed everything over there. Um, so if you want to know any specifics about like what I was collecting exactly and stuff, you can check that video out, but basically just at least one version of every series, um, like every actual series. I didn't have every light novel and not every like art book and stuff like that, but I have collected a lot of that since, and that's up here. Uh, this first shelf in this section has a lot of the light novels. You can see like, uh, or not light novels, a lot of the art books like Naruto, One Piece, uh, Dragon Ball, Promised Neverland. Um, a lot of stuff like that is up there as well as the like kind of supplemental volumes like the Bleach, Naruto, My Hero, um, supplemental books. Um, then next to that, I've got the colored editions of Dragon Ball, and this is where all the manga begins. Um, Akira Toriyama's Manga Theater, uh, All You Need Is Kill, uh, Death Note, Black Editions, Death Note 13, How to Read, the Death Note short stories, and I have one of the Death Note novels and the other one is coming. Um, then show some of my figures here, uh, Saitama, and Sakuragi from uh, Slam Dunk, which is my favorite manga. And then I've got a few JoJo's up here. And let's move down to the other shelf. Uh, so the Viz Big Editions of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Time Killers, a single volume of short stories by the creator of uh, Blue Exorcist. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5, and this is all my ongoing stuff right now. So the other JoJo stuff is in another section because it's not currently ongoing, it's all completed. Um, Thus Spoke Rohan Kishibe, Dragon Quest Adventure of Dai 1-4, through four, The uh, Seventh Garden 1-8, through eight, Black Clover, come around the corner here, and up here I've got more figures, you can see Gojo, and Yuji, and then some uh, One Piece. And then I've got a selection of stuff from Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, most of the main characters and a blue eyes right there. And then I've got several One Piece figures as well up on this shelf. All right, continuing on from Black Clover, we've got uh, Blue Exorcist, uh, Blue Box, Volume 1 as well, uh, Boruto, Burn the Witch, D. Gray Man, and Don to Don, the Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball, that time I was reincarnated as Yamcha, uh, the Elusive Samurai, Ghost Reaper Girl, Hunter x Hunter, finally back from hiatus, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, here's the rest of JJK, Kaguya-sama Love is War, recently wrapped up, but wrapping up uh, in Japan, so it'll be wrapped up 
pretty soon here in the US. Uh, Kaiju number eight, Kubo, Won't Let Me Be Invisible, uh, Mashal, absolutely love Mashal. Uh, Mission Yozakura Family, happy that they finally brought that one uh, physically into English. Moriarty the Patriot, uh, My Hero Academia, My Hero Academia Team Up Missions, and Vigilantes, uh, which I believe is 15 total volumes, so that's going to end soon. Then I've got the One Piece um, Aces Story light novel, and of course all of One Piece, which I've been reading since 2003. Um, these are not all of my original volumes. I did have uh, some of the earlier volumes, like some of the first prints and stuff, but um, I have I got the box sets eventually, and. Uh, so that's what I have now, is uh, stuff from the box sets, except for uh, the material from the fourth box set. I didn't get that, I just have the singles. Uh, then One Punch Man. Here's the rest of uh, One Punch Man. Sakamoto Days, which I notice is out of order. If anything's out of order, it's not on purpose. I just, sometimes putting things up hastily, um, I accidentally shelf something out of order. So I'll, I'll put that up in the correct order soon. Uh, Seraph at the End, Vampire Rain, Spy Family, Twin Star Exorcists, Undead Unluck, World Trigger, and then that ends all the ongoing stuff. Um, and we have Act Age, which of course was discontinued, Assassination Classroom, these are all the included titles, Astra Lost in Space, uh, Bakuman, Barrage, Beat the Vandal Buster. Black Cat, Black Torch, Bleach. We've got that new version of the first volume that they put out. All right, we got the rest of Bleach, the Bleach light novels, Bo 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 Bo, Usa Rankin, and okay. So I put Chainsaw Man down here because I was under the impression that when it came back, it was going to be like a new series, but it continued with the same chapter numbering, so they're probably going to continue the same volume numbering in the US as well. Um, so once they confirm that it'll be volume 12 and not like Chainsaw Man 2 Electric Boogaloo volume 1, I will move this back up to the ongoing section. That is my bad. Uh, I was presumptuous and I got burnt for it. Next up we've got Claymore, Kawa from Akira Toriyama. Demon Slayer with the extra short stories volume, as well as the first light novel. Uh, Dr. Slump, Dr. Stone, the reboot Byakuya volume, and the rest of it. Um, there are two volumes left to come out in English, so I've left space over here for those, next to Dragon Drive. Uh, Ice Shield 21, the rest of Ice Shield 21. Food Wars, Genkaku Picasso, Gintama, Gunblaze West, Haikyuu, more Haikyuu, Hikaru Nogo, Hoshinengi, Eyes or Aizu, Jaco the Galactic Patrolman, uh, Juni Tyson Zodiac War, Knights of the Zodiac, Kurohime, and the rest of Kurohime is over there. Kuroko no Basketball, Kuroko's Basketball, uh, Legends, Muyo and Roji, uh, the My Hero Academia Smash, which is completed, so that's why it's not with the other ones, uh, Naruto, and the rest of Naruto, the uh, Seventh Hokage book, as well as the uh, Sasuke's Chibi Sasuke Sharingan Legend, um, Nisekoi. Nora, Nura, the rest of Nura, Platinum End, Pretty Face, just from the same creator as Kiruru Kill Me, if you're currently reading and enjoying that. Uh, first seven volumes of Prince of Tennis. There's the rest of Prince of Tennis, Promised Neverland, Siren, Ralgrod, Reborn, Rosario Vampire. Roni Kenshin, Kenshin Restoration, Samurai 8, Sandland, School Judgment, Shaman King, The Rest of Shaman King, Strawberry 100%, Tegami Bachi, first several volumes of Toriko, The Rest of Toriko here, Ultimate Muscle, 
Ultimo, Lock Walk, uh, We Never Learn, Whistle. Sorry about the shadows here, the lighting's not the best, but you can mostly see what's going on. All right, we've got the Yu-Gi-Oh! 3-in-1s, and uh, I'll show them a little bit later, but I have started to try and track down the single volumes. I've gotten about a third of them, I think, at this point. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! R, sorry, I, I meant R first, R, GX, then 5Ds. The rest of 5Ds, Zexel and Arc V, or Arc 5, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Movie Annie Manga volume, Yu Yu Hakusho, and finishing it off uh, with that light shining through on Zombie Powder. And I haven't put them into my uh, shelves yet, but I do also have the most of the Naruto light novels. Uh, recently picked those up. Uh, just kind of felt like it. All right, now that we're done with the Shonen Jump section, we're in the creator section. Uh, this I mentioned briefly before, I'll put some of my favorite series or some series from my favorite creators all together. Um, and so this starts, it's in alphabetical order, uh, with Hiromu Arakawa. And I've got the uh, Full Metal Alchemist art book on top of the, uh, the series itself. Uh, we've got Silver Spoon here, and there's one more series of hers that is uh, completed that I don't have. It's a shorter series. And I, I tend to keep things over here when they get completed. So uh, Heroic Legend of Arslan is not going to be here until that happens. Um, there are a couple of exceptions, and I'll kind of explain those when I get to them. Then we got the um, Araki section, which has a bunch of stuff in it. So first up, we have a bunch of uh, JoJo stuff, related stuff, Rohan at the Louvre, uh, Bao in single issues, which was his series preceding JoJo's, uh, a bunch of volumes in Japanese, uh, manga and theory and practice, JoJo's parts one, two, three, and four. I mentioned earlier uh, that they were elsewhere when I was showing part five. The Japanese volumes of Rohan, uh, that spoke Rohan Kishibe, the first volume of in Japanese of the spin-off that recently started with uh, Josuke and Whole Horse, um, some of the light novels, and uh, Cool Shock BT. And then we get to uh, Inio Asano, uh, What a Wonderful World, Nijihara uh, Holograph, Solanin and the Solanin Epilogue, uh, Goodnight Poon Poon. Girl on the Shore, Downfall, Dead Dead Demons, DDDD Destruction, which I believe there's one or two more volumes, so I left some space here so that I could uh, add those in whenever they get completed. Uh, then I added more recently Toro Fujisawa because I completed collecting everything of his that's available in English. So we've got uh, GTO, the early years, Shonen Junaigumi. The original GTO, or not the original, the, the main GTO series, the one that's more well known uh, in the States and then uh, Rose Hip Rose. And these are arranged chronologically. So next up is Toko, then Rose Hip Zero, the prequel to Rose Hip Rose, and then GTO 14, 14 Days in Shonan. Next up are a few books from Motohagyo, uh, AA Prime, Otherworld Barbara, and Little Leo. And then one of my favorite sections, the Takehiko Inoue section. I start off with the Spanish edition of Chameleon Jail, and then all of Slam Dunk. I've got the second Slam Dunk, uh, art book here. I have the first one elsewhere. I think I've already shown it, actually. The rest of Slam Dunk, uh, Buzzer Beater, and Vagabond uh, in the Viz Big Editions. I, I don't have the single for volume 37, but whatever. Uh, Real, volumes 1 through 15, and then we get to another favorite section of mine is the Junji Ito section. So we've got the Twisted Visions art of Junji Ito, and then all of Ito's material available in English so far, uh, from mostly from Viz, a couple things from Kadansha, of course. And then we get into the Taiyo Matsumoto section. We've got Tech on Concrete, uh, Ping Pong, number five, Sunny, and Cats of the Louvre. Uh, I need to find copies of Gogo -Go Monster and Blue Spring uh, to complete my English Matsumoto collection. I'm hoping that maybe they'll reprint those, especially Blue Spring, since it was in just a standard single volume, and maybe they do it in like a hardcover. Uh, next up, we have the Tsutomu Nihei section, which I've left some room here so that I can put the new printing of Noise in there. Uh, but we have Blam or Blame, Abara. Uh, Biomega, 
and Knights of Cydonia. And then uh, I'm also going to be adding that Wolverine Snicked reprint here whenever it comes out. And then here we've got the rest of Knights of Cydonia as well as Opossums. And then we move into the Natsume Ono section. Uh, La Quinta Camera, Not Simple, House of Five Leaves, uh, Ristorante Paradiso, Danza, uh, Tesoro, Gente, and then the uh, Aka 13 and the spin-off or ACCA 13, and then Shuzo Oshimi, starting off with uh, Devil's Ecstasy, Flowers of Evil, Shino Can't Say Her Name. Um, I've left some room here because the last volume of Inside Mari hasn't come out, and there's also uh, another uh, single volume from uh, Oshimi that's coming out, I think this month, so be added in soon. Um, happiness, and then the art book, and those two one-shots, The those two little magazines are Shuzo Oshimi one-shots that were released from Denpa. So with those and Inside Mari and Little Leo, that actually completes the Denpa collection, aside from a couple of other uh, little magazines like that that they released that I don't have. Otherwise, I have everything else from Denpa. Then we get into the uh, Rumiko Takahashi section, which is pretty expansive. So we've got Urusei Yatsura and uh, Mesoni Koku over here. Uh, the last few volumes of these things, there's going to be 17 of Urusei Yatsura and 10 of Mesoni Koku in these new editions, and I've left plenty of room for those. Uh, then Mermaid Saga, Ranma One Half, One Pound Gospel. Uh, Rumic Theater, Rumic Theater 1 or Double, Rumic World Trilogy Volume 1 and 2, so I'm just missing Rumic World Trilogy 3. Uh, Inuyasha in the Viz Big Editions. There's the rest of Inuyasha, Rinne, and then of course Mao is currently ongoing, so they have that in the ongoing section. Um, and Came the Mirror and Other Tales. Then we've got a small selection of stuff by Jiro Taniguchi. Uh, including Walking Man, A Journal of My Father, The Ice Wanderer, The Summit of the Gods, um, Furari, and then we get into the Osamu Tezuka section. Pretty nice selection of stuff from Osamu Tezuka. Uh, I think I have most of what of, is available of his in English. Um, I'm not going to read all the titles because it's a lot. <laughs> it's going to be a whole mouthful. Um, there is some stuff missing. Um, so I'm not done here, but I've got a lot of it. I do have a lot of it. Uh, then another section that I really love is my uh, Naoki Urasawa section. Those single issues are the 10 issues that were released of Pineapple Army. And then we've got Master Keaton, Monster, 20th Century Boys, and 21st Century Boys, as well as Pluto. And then down here we have the end of the Urasawa stuff with Mujirushi and Sneeze, and then begins the um, completed Viz Signature section. So I've got After School Charisma, All My Darling Daughters, uh, Battle Royale Angels uh, Order, Assassin's Creed, The Blade of uh, Shao Jun, Blue Flag, Bokuranu R's, um, Missing Volumes 3 and 4. Children of the Sea, Detroit Metal City, Dogs, Bullets and Carnage. Uh, then we've got Dorohedoro, Drifting Classroom, Drip Drip, it's a recent edition. Uh, Fire Punch by Tatsuki Fujimoto, of course. Uh, Gangsta, which I'm missing some volumes of, but I have them on order, so uh, I should be getting them in the next... Uh, hopefully a month or so. They're all on like back order, but I, I know they were getting reprinted. Uh, Gangsta Cursed, Hell's Paradise, Ikigami, uh, I'll Give It My All Tomorrow, Jormungand, or Jormungand, just missing volume six, uh, Kingdom of the Gods, King Yo Used Books, uh, Levius, Levius Est, Look Back by Fujimoto, uh, March Story, and no Guns Life Volumes 1 through 9. And then that continues up here with No Guns Life uh, 10 through 12. Uh, Oishinbo, Oku, uh, Ran in the Gray World, Ruby, the uh, Ruby official manga, and the Ruby anthology. Uh, Saturn Apartments, I'm only missing Volume 4 at this point. Sweet Blue Flowers, and the first four volumes of Tenjo Tenge right there. All right, moving on, we got the rest of Tenjo Tenge, To Strip the Flesh, Tokyo Ghoul, and Tokyo Ghoul Re. 
And then we go into some other Viz stuff. Uh, Aqua Knight from the same creator as uh, Battle Angel Alita. Um, here's the single issues that they released for Cobra. Uh, the Cruella manga based on the movie. Junko Mizuno, a couple things from her. Cinderella and Hansel and Gretel. The Legend of Kamui. Um, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, and all the uh, Legendary Edition paperbacks. Uh, My the Psychic Girl. The Neon Genesis Evangelion Omnibus Editions, the Collector's Editions of uh, Pokemon Adventures, and the other Pokemon manga, the uh, Electric Tale of Pikachu series, all four volumes of that. Uh, Super Mario Adventures and Super Mario Manga Mania. And then we get into Viz Media uh, series that are completed. So uh, Excel Saga, Flame of Rekka, Inubaka. Um, not that I... It's hard to find or anything, but I still need to get volume 12 of that one. Um, Mare, or uh, Martian Awaken Romance. Uh, Oparts Hunter. Here's the rest of Oparts Hunter. Uh, then we got Togari. Tuxedo Gin. And Video Girl Eye. And then we get into the concluded Shonen Sunday titles. I mentioned earlier that I have everything from the Shonen Sunday line. So we've got Cross Game. Hide and Closer. Uh, Itsuwaribito. Uh, Kekaishi. I need to clean up that volume 14 there. Uh, Kurozakuro. Magi. Mao. Uh, Yakitate Japan. There's the rest of Yakitate Japan, and then we get into Kadansha stuff. So there's Animal Land by Makoto Raiku, the creator of Zatch Bell. Uh, Siguatera. Uh, Hiromashima's Heroes, creator of uh, Rave Master and Fairy Tale and stuff, of course. Uh, Parasite, Neo Parasite, Hiromashima's Playground. I've yet to have put away Sky Grazer. That was a recent release that I read, and uh, I have to shift stuff around to fit it where it belongs here. But uh, Sensei's Pious Lie was a fantastic, very dramatic, very dark, uh, recently wrapped up in English. Um, again, Be Very Afraid of Kanako Inuki recommend that if you are a fan of uh, Junji Ito's manga and stuff. Uh, Boys Run the Riot, Cells at Work, Cells at Work Code Black, Golosseum, uh, Inuyashiki from the same creator as Gantz and uh, Gigant, uh, Neko Gahara, this is from the same creator as um, Shaman King, Hiroyuki Take, uh, Perfect World, Princess Jellyfish, Tokyo Tarareba Girls, Queen Emeraldus hardcovers from Leiji Matsumoto. Um, I could put Leiji Matsumoto in here too, because I think I have all of his stuff that's available in English. Um, a Silent Voice, the hardcover set. The Akira box set, unboxed. Um, this is the Akira Art of Wall piece. Uh, Attack on Titan Colossal Editions, the final one, Volume 7, is coming out, and I hope I have enough room. I saved some room for it right there. Um, got some Attack on Titan supplemental stuff here. And Battle Angel Alita, uh, one of my favorite series. All right, then we've got uh, Battle Angel Alita Last Order. And the Ghost in the Shell box set. Sailor V and Sailor Moon. Sailor V is the uh, preceding series that came before Sailor Moon, um, both chronologically and story-wise. The uh, Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin hardcovers from Vertical. Helter Skelter, enclosed called Fat. Insufficient Direction, Paradise Kiss. Uh, these are all Vertical series, by the way. Uh, vertical being part of Kadansha at this point. Pink, Dream Fossil, uh, Lychee Light Club, After the Rain, from the same creator as um, Kowloon Generic Romance, uh, Arakawa Under the Bridge, Moteki, Tropic of the Sea, Ajin Demi Human, Devil's Line, uh, Nishijo, She and Her Cat, Ozumanga Dayo, Barakamon, Cirque du Freak, and Higurashi. Hopefully they also reprint, they being Yen Press, because we're in the Yen Press section now, of completed Yen Press stuff. Hopefully they also do a reprint of um, Umineko. That would be great. Continuing along with the Yen Press, uh, Josie, the Tiger and the Fish, King of Eden, uh, My Broken Mariko, Prison School, and the little spin-off as well as Raw Hero from the same creator, 
uh, Seven Little Sons of the Dragon. Uh, it's from the same creator as Delicious Dungeon. Skullface bookseller Honda-san. Uh, See You Tomorrow at the Food Court. That's a cute little single volume. And Smokin' Parade. And then we get to Dark Horse. We've got The Witcher Ronin. Uh, Helsing hardcovers. Isle of Dogs. Uh, Shadow Lady. What's Michael? All the 3x3 three three eyes that were released before it was discontinued. Uh, Imanon 1 through 3. The uh, fourth one was just recently announced to be getting uh, finally released in English. The Hellbound, uh, Satoshi Kon's opus, uh, Planets, from uh, Makoto Yukimura, the creator of Vinland Saga. Uh, Seraphim, I'm not going to name that number, Wings. Um, Wandering Island Volume 2, hopefully with Imanon 4 coming out. They also reprint Volume 1 of Wandering Island. Uh, and then we've got the uh, Gotenabe HP Lovecraft stuff, the story collection, as well as Mountain of Madness Volume 1 and 2. Uh, I Am a Hero, the the Ring manga. Um, that Ring manga is from like the early 2000s. Uh, so Ring, Zero, Birthday, The Ring, The Ring Volume 2, and Spiral. Um, Tony Takazaki's Neon Genesis Evangelion, Trigon Volumes 1 and 2 in the special edition hardcovers from Barn the Noble, Trigon Maximum 1 through 14, as well as the uh, extra volume multiple bullets, um, Barefoot Gen hardcovers Volume 1 through 10, Speed Racer hardcover box set, Cromarty High School, one of my favorite comedies, unfortunately discontinued after volume 12 out of 17. A couple of other discontinued titles, uh, Now and Fist of the Blue Sky, the prequel to Fist of the North Star. Now, unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. We're in the last section of the library here, and um, I hope you consider this tour to be a good thing. Uh, so I got actually recently picked up the Lore Olympus hardcovers. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff from Drawn and Quarterly, the uh, colored elegy, red colored elegy, elegy can't speak, uh, Red Snow, a bunch of uh, stuff from Shigeru Mizuki. Still need to get a couple of the Showa volumes. Uh, let's see, more Mizuki. Uh, Talk to My Back, The Box Man, Single Match. Um, some Tatsumi hardcovers. Uh, some Tadao Tsuge and Yoshiharu Tsuge. Uh, and then we get some Manwa volumes before going into a couple of other manga. Uh, another Tadao Tsuge from uh, New York Review. Uh, Japan Inc. from Shotaro Ishinomori. And uh, that little one in between is the, um, the Minimata story, an eco tragedy. Going down to the next one. Uh, some more Tsuge from New York Review and uh, Baron Yoshimoto's The Troublemakers. We've got a whole section of stuff from uh, Glacier Bay. Uh, Glaliola, Ripples, uh, Popokami 2, uh, OSCP, Open Spaces, Closed Places, uh, Mississippi, a bunch of really small ones from them as well. It's hard to read the spines. I don't remember the titles of all of them. Um, Children of Moo Town, Effie Mai, um, Rabbit Game, uh, Dream Another Dream, Dear Sarah, and then we've got a couple things from uh, uh, Starfruit Books, uh, The Town of Pigs by Hideshi Hino, as well as the uh, uh, When when P Pink Rain Falls is that big one. And we get into the concluded uh, Seven Seas section, starting off with all the hardcovers. Uh, Go Ranger and Common Rider from Ishinomori, uh, Captain Harlock from Leiji Matsumoto, as well as uh, Space Battleship Yamato, Cutie Honey and Devil Man from Go Nagai, and the first of these hardcovers of Lupin the Third from uh, Monkey Punch, this greatest heist. A second hardcover was just announced last week as well. Um, a Chinese fantasy, Dragon King's Daughter, uh, Monotone Blue, Witches, Robo Sapiens, and Afro Samurai. Uh, Blue Giant, hopefully those sequel series get released in the U.S. at some point. Uh, Devilman G, Grimoire, uh, Devilman vs. Hades, uh, Go For It Nakamura, High Rise Invasion, rest of High Rise Invasion over here, Magical Girl Apocalypse, Our Dining Table, To Love Rue, 
and Two Love Root Darkness, and then the, the weakest contestant of all space and time to end off the completed uh, Seven Seas section. And then down here we've got uh, Tokyo Pop concluded stuff, and uh, I guess one ongoing Tokyo Pop series as well. Battle Royale Ultimate Edition, I'm still, like many people, missing Volumes 4 and 5. The I Love Halloween Ultimate Twisted Edition hardcover. Uh, Aria the Masterpiece, uh, those recent prints that came out from uh, that were available on Right Stuff. Uh, the Fox and Little Tanuki is the only one, I, I believe it's the only one I have on here that's ongoing. Um, Boys B, I have almost an entire collection. I'm missing volumes 13, 14, 15, and 16. Uh, Beat X, I'm just missing volume 14. Cowboy Bebop box set of the manga. I got that for Christmas back in like 03, 04 or something. Cyborg 009 by Shotaro Ishinomori. I've got one through seven, so I'm missing the last few. Uh, Donald Duck visits Japan. Uh, Furikuri, Volumes 1 and 2, Harlem Beat 1 through 9, which got retitled as Rebound for the last 18 volumes. Juror 13, Karekano, Laughing Under the Clouds, Love Hina, there's Mars Volume 1, and Mars 2 through 11, plus the uh, Horse with No Name. I still need Volumes 12 through 15, but that's almost impossible at this point. Nightmare Before Christmas, as well as the Zero's Journey uh, spin-off little story. Uh, Planets, uh, I do have two different editions of that series. I, I love it really much, but I'm uh, looking to give away this set to someone. Uh, Priest, Puppy Love, Rave Master. That's the entirety of Rave Master, and I was buying that as it came out um, in English. So... A lot of people ask, like, how did you get Rave Master? A lot of the rare stuff that I have, it's because I was buying it when it was originally being published. Samurai Deeper Kyo, there's that complete series over here. And we end it with the last volume of Samurai Deeper Kyo, Scryed or S. Cryed, uh, Stitch and the Samurai, and X Day. And that's that's it. That's the library. Actually, I lied. Uh, there's a small shelf over here, and this is um, just a bunch of stuff that I haven't uh, completed, completely collected, that are not integrated into my collection. Um, so a lot of these are harder to find books. Tower of the Future, Project Arms, City Hunter, Kimikure, Orange Road, Bastard, uh, Dead Man Wonderland. Uh, I do have that on back order right now, so hopefully I'll get those pretty soon. Uh, Firefighter Daigo, uh, Golgo 13. We've got some magazines from Japan. The first volume of the Resident Evil manga that's part of oop, Viz Media's uh, signature line. So. That's one that I'll need to collect the rest of to get the whole signature line. A bunch of stuff down here. The Wallflower, Nodame, Kantabile, uh, Kurogane, Lone Wolf and Cub, New Lone Wolf and Cub, Dragon Half, Spirit Circle, some Shonen Jump samplers. There's a, it's getting really dark down here, but Yu-Gi-Oh! singles. And then at the very bottom, there's a bunch of other Arm of Cannon, uh, Happy Mania, uh, Steins Gate, Ubo Blot, um, some other stuff down there that you really can't see. Sorry, there's no light in this corner. All right, so I'm uh, pre-recording this before doing the tour, but uh, this is my little outro thing. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching this. I, I hope that y'all enjoyed this. Um, I put a lot of work into putting this thing together. Uh, like I said earlier in the intro parts of the video, uh, a lot of the new stuff that I have here is because you, my like amazing viewers, have recommended things to me left and right, and it means a ton to me and I'm so thankful that y'all care enough um, to try and, and find me new things that I can enjoy because that's the greatest joy when it comes to a hobby like the like this one is being exposed to more things that you can love. Um, so thank you so much for spending this time with me. Again, I hope that you enjoyed the tour and now that this has finally been done and is out of the way, I can get back to uh, normal scheduled stuff each month like I'll, I'll start doing my my haul videos regularly again so um with that if uh you know if you're new to the channel and you haven't hit subscribe yet i hope you'll consider doing so and otherwise uh i will see all of y'all on the next one peace out <laughs>